Welcome to this video. We are going to talk about calculating area in geography. So there's an extra step in there and it's really important that we get that one right. So let's have a look. Firstly, I'm going to put my formula down so that for area is equal to length times breadth. Okay, um, and that's a standard formula that we're used to for measuring area everywhere, every subject, math comes to mind. Right, so I have found a little recreational area here in Hermanus. Um, so I'm going to measure that. And I have 0 0.4 centimeters by, let's measure up the breadth. And the breadth is, oh, wait, also 0 0.4 centimeters. Okay, so that makes it nice and easy. So, first thing is convert first. This is our important step that sometimes gets forgotten, but is super, super important. Okay, we convert our centimeters to kilometers first. So, 0 0.2 kilometers times 0 0.2 kilometers is equal to 0 0.04 kilometers squared. Okay, you have to add the squared, otherwise you will not get that mark. All right, so you might be going, well, gosh, those are such tiny numbers. Can't we do that in meters instead? Well, let's try. Um, so that is 200 meters times 200 meters. And that will give us 40,000 square meters. So we're going to stick with our square kilometer option. So that is how we calculate a regular shape. So rectangles and squares, super easy to do, no problem. But now we're going to have a look at an irregular shape and see how are we going to do that. Here is uh, my irregular shape. I found one in Hermanus. Um, and it is a residential area, two residential suburbs next to each other. And so I'm going to be figuring out what the square kilometers are for this one. So here we are. That's the area. It looks kind of rectangly, but you can see, especially along that mountain range, there's a very irregular edge to this. So I figured this would be a good one to practice with. Um, so I'm drawing a grid around it. Now the grid is in half centimeter measurements. So I've just drawn the big rectangle and now divided it into 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 centimeters. So usually when you do this kind of irregular shape measurement, you would go one centimeter by one centimeter. Okay, and then when you convert that, you're gonna convert it first into um, square into kilometers so that's going to give us 0 0.25 square kilometers eventually but 0 0.5 kilometers times by 0 0.5 kilometers is going to give us 0 0.25 kilometers right so that is if you're using a one centimeter grid which we are not doing today so i've changed this slightly because of the area being so small and we are instead going to have 0 0.5 centimeters times 0 0.5 centimeters convert first. So it's 0 0.25 kilometers by 0 0.25 kilometers, which is going to give us 0 0.0625 square kilometers. Okay, now I'm going to leave it with all of those digits while I'm doing the actual calculation. I will round off at the end. Right, so the first thing I'm going to need to do with my grid that I've now drawn on the map is I need to count the complete squares. Now, usually you would do this on tracing paper. This is a printed out map that I have at home on regular paper, so it's not a fancy map. Um, so I'm now counting how many air grids there are that are completely full of residential area. Right, and I got 29. Notice I was crossing them off with X's as I went um, just to keep track so I don't accidentally um, count too many. Now I'm going to count the partial squares. 
So some of these have uh, a lot of residential and a tiny bit of not residential. Others have a corner of residential and mostly not. So um, I'm going to count them up. And once I've counted them, I'm going to average them. So I'm going to count all the way around. Once I've got my total, I'm going to divide it by two. So you can take some time and actually sit and figure out exactly how many squares each of these partials will fill. Um, but the count them up and divide by two um, is a suitable method, particularly if you know you look at this like I've been looking at this and go, well, they're half partially filled and half not filled, so uh, that would work. So my partial squares are also 29 and I'm going to divide those by 2 and that is going to give me 14.5 squares. So my total is 43.5 squares and I'm going to multiply that by my square kilometers that we calculated further up which is 0 0.0625 square kilometers um, and I accidentally leave out a zero here, but I did put the zero into the calculator. So the answer is correct. Just don't forget that zero um, of 2.72 square kilometers. And that is how we calculate the area of both regular and irregular shapes or features on a map. Any questions, comment below, like, share, subscribe. See you soon.